So I uh, recorded this video a couple times. Last time I recorded it, something happened with the microphone and it didn't work. So I'm trying to keep it sweet. This recording video life is hard. I'm learning though. The topic I want to touch base with today is the single mother and father's day. So I just wanted to address a couple of issues that have been I've been reading in my timeline about men who are upset with women who wish themselves happy father's day. Here's where I stand on it. I do not believe that as a single mother, I am both a mother and a father. I don't believe that I can take the place of a father in a child's life. All I know is that I gotta do the best that I can do to be who my children need me to be. And at the end of the day, that's, that's all I can offer. I know some women out there think that I don't have a father for my children or a father figure for my children. It makes me um, both the mom and the dad. I don't believe that you can be a dad. You're not a man. You can't, you can't be a man. You'll never be able to be a man. So you can't be a father to your children and vice versa. You cannot be a mom if you're a dad. You, you can only be the dad or you can only be the mom. However, you can be that super parent though. You know, you can, you can, moms, you can take your kids to uh, basketball games, show your sons how to be big and strong and I tell my son every single night like well he asked me if I go to sleep will I grow up to be big and strong like mommy and I'm like yes you will you'll be bigger and stronger than mommy give him those words of encouragement I've seen like countless videos of fathers doing their daughter's hair and stuff like that or maybe letting their daughters paint their fingernails and stuff and that is the cutest thing in the world for those single fathers out there who don't have the mother figure for their children let let your little girls be little girls you know and moms let your little boys be little boys and just be the best you that you can be for them encourage them to to just be comfortable with being themselves you know but no i don't feel like a woman can can take the place of a man in a child's life Children need both parents. But unfortunately, our world is not like that and we don't all have both parents in, in our child's life. It sucks, but it doesn't take away from the type of parent that we can be because we can be phenomenal as single parents out there and I, and I truly wholeheartedly believe that we are superhuman. To the man out there who is bashing women for wishing themselves Happy Father's Day, well, I just stated what my stance is on that. Oh no, I, I don't think that she should wish herself Happy Father's Day. I do feel like she's allowed to wish herself a second Happy Mother's Day, and, and vice versa on on Father's Day. Like, who do who do I have? Essentially, what if she don't have a didn't have a father growing up who was a great father? And what if she doesn't have a, a father for her children? Why am I celebrating someone who's not here? You know what I mean? She doesn't have to acknowledge that person. She can just acknowledge herself. Not as a father, but as her. And I've been seeing these um, posts in one of them, for instance, that I kind of got into a little heated um, Facebook battle with, said that I'm never wishing another woman that isn't my mother Happy Mother's Day again because women are out here trying to steal Father's Day. This person said to me, oh, you make it your, your mission to empower women, and it's my life goal to empower these men out here, you know, to be good men be strong men but that's not a good man to say i'm never wishing another woman happy mother's day that that doesn't make any sense you should encourage men to be good strong men by helping them to uplift women and vice versa like i don't sit there and say hey women unite against men f them in father's day those deadbeats out there no i acknowledge the father and i acknowledge the mother i acknowledge the people who are doing their damn thing that's who I acknowledge. Don't spend your time being negative. Why don't you choose something to, to be positive? Teach them something. You know what I mean? Don't don't teach don't teach pettiness. Te teach love. Say, hey, I appreciate your strength and your power, and and I and I acknowledge that you're taking care of your children, and thank you for that. Because it's not as you know, there's some people out here, there who's not doing it. So like, I don't know. What do you guys think about the, the women in general? who is calling herself a father. Like, I, I don't think that women should be able to call themselves fathers or women should call themselves fathers, but I mean, I understand where it comes from. You know what I mean? Do you understand it? Um, what are your thoughts? Leave a comment for me, please. Um, and let me know what issues you do want to discuss. Thank you for tuning in. Um, like, comment, share this video, subscribe, 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 subscribe. And thank you so much. Stay beautiful, stay encouraged, 
and I'll talk to you next time.